Durban's talented illustrators and comic artists found themselves in the spotlight of a brand new comic art exhibition. New comic books and art on display alongside other works by SA's best talent. It's a comic art exhibition and it has been inspired by the launch of two Durban uh, artists who have had their books recently launched. Being able to introduce and market their comics to a local audience is a huge opportunity for Dion DeLange and Luke Malva. Luke's work has graced the pages of anthologies and other comics and is the creator of the Neuroverse Noir, Remember Emma. Well, my inspiration, I would say, comes from, from people. And although Remember Emma is a science fiction story, it's still a story about people and anyone can identify with those characters in some way. If you make enough money, you can do a little print run of your magazine, get it out to your friends, take it to anyone who will actually pick it up. They're difficult to access here, that's why events like this I feel are important, but you've got to be passionate about it, otherwise you're wasting your time and everyone else's. Dion DeLange is a freelance illustrator and artist and publishes his comics like Tamika under his own UO Comics imprint. It took me many years to actually uh, to, to get the courage to start drawing my own comic, many years. And yes, it's, it's, it's totally possible to, to draw your own comic. Now in South Africa, uh, you can draw any comic that you want. You can tell your own story. It doesn't have to have anything to do with South Africa or be Afrocentric or anything like that. Unless you want to, that's cool too. But you can draw a comic about anything that you want and many co people are. Comics are no longer the playground of nerds or social misfits. And as an art form, it has a growing diverse fan base. I came here tonight because uh, comic books have been a part of my childhood and it is actually quite awesome to see South Africans, especially Durbanites, exploring comic books and actually making something that we can enjoy just as we did back when we were growing up. And the level of work that is here, the material that they're showing is actually quite amazing. It just, you escape reality. Like, reality sucks most of the time and comics are this beautiful place where people can teleport and do incredible things, so that's why I love comics. It's just a different place. From strange to whimsical, Comic Art is building an authentic following and unearthing extraordinary new storytellers. While it's necessary to adapt to new media, uh, I don't think print media will ever die. I think as long as mankind is scrawling sequential art in caves, I think comics will survive.